Margie Worthington podcast all day. All day. Dream by night. <laughs> Don't buy me a drink. Just give me 10 bucks. <laughs> all day. <laughs> Go down to the strip club with your floppy disk and turn it into a hard drive. Yeah, right. You'll get fucking thrown out by Big Tony. <laughs> We're here to name names and make people feel more ashamed for shit that they're not proud of. Don't blow it. Keep it simple. Count your money. No, oh, whatever it is. <laughs> Welcome to episode 91 of the Marky Worthington Comedy Podcast. Long time coming. And finally, we have the uh, the co-host of my other podcast, or our other podcast, Canberra Metalheads. It's Jay. Canberra J- Metalheads. <laughs> it's Jay Decay. Decay. That's it, man. Hey, good to have you across platforms onto the um, yes. onto the comedy side of things. Ninety-one episodes, bro. Yeah, yeah. Held out. <laughs> <laughs> well, this do, guy. Well, do you remember when we kicked off Canberra Metalheads, and it, then I was like, "Oh, I'm going to start doing a comedy podcast," and fucking here we are, ninety-one episodes later, yeah. um, approaching the big triple digits. Yeah, well, um, you held the good good guest till last, right? <laughs> <laughs> Been doing some big shows. Probably brother congrats yeah thanks dude thanks it's i think it's all comes back to like i think i learned how to podcast with you and bands you know yeah, like that, that's how i sort of came about kind of got that formula cracking and yeah. being able to talk and yep being comfy with people and yeah it's a it's a trip huh yeah and and the and the we all i always referred to you as like the wizard behind the curtain uh, the one that would help me out with technical shit and that sort of stuff but like not take any of the um the spotlight like literally just be like yeah dude like it's okay you're troubleshooting good no worries you know i think the first ever episode i did for canberra metalheads was like the first time i ever did it in the studio and it was with my previous co-host and you were on as a guest and uh, I was trying to queue up a track for like the intermission and shit. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, no audio. And I'm just sitting there going like, all right, so I've got audio through the fallback and nothing through the headphones and I'm fucking around. And I just look over at you and I'm like, what am I doing wrong? You're like, fucking doing good so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's before I learnt the master of, uh, learnt the fucking, the, the secret of post editing yeah post production yeah right? it's yeah. just like i'll just fucking edit that track in after yeah well you the whole rig there was a bit a bit blue yeah um and a bit worn yeah but that's okay it was a nice place i you think know, it's because you get so many people using it you, you know, know like everyone changes shit and you fucks have with no it. idea who's coming in and yeah. who's coming out and who's who's done what to what yeah, yeah interesting you got to do a whole bunch of line tests before you go in there yeah <laughs> yeah so i kind of do that for work so i kind of like i would i would be tracking it down on um on on my little cheat sheet yeah to make sure that the settings are the same but um yeah uh I'm, I'm super glad that we can now actually swear and we don't have to spend so much time or well, your time because Marky's always been the editor <laughs> <laughs> and I swear like a motherfucker, you know, you know what I mean? Well, and, the- um, yeah, just, oh, bloopers, right? I've actually got a blooper. I'll um, I'll I'll put it in right now. Like it's, we're, we're gonna go to a blooper right now, all right? But <laughs> before I go into it, because I'm gonna edit it in in post, yeah, yeah. because I learned that technique. I'll give you some context. So I just got our first batch of merch going. I'm like, oh Jay, we should record like a little um sting for like <laughs> the radio. And I can tell by the recording, Jay wanted to say like, go and get yourself some mad shit. <laughs> Go and take a mad shit. <laughs> no, 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 dude. You just like <laughs> the amount of times because you just like I can't swear, I can't swear, and then you just like it ended up just being like our merch is shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't those fucking don't those uh, don't those keep going, keep going. Sorry, don't those don't those shirts shirts look shit. Uh, sick <laughs> that was the word shirts look sick man i can't do i can't do that i can't <laughs> yeah no i got, sorry, it, I got it i got it i got it sorry um, you don't need to apologize that's fucking yeah. awesome anyway <laughs> <laughs> i fucking no right. you got you got it man sorry 
Remember, remember the time when we were like interviewing other people, and I was like, "Grind doesn't yeah. pay," and yeah. like you thought that I said, "Crime doesn't yeah, pay." Yeah, yeah. Cause you thought I was a bad cunt, <laughs> yeah. and, and I was just like, "Nah, nah, bro, <laughs> I wouldn't talk about crime. Yeah. I'm not." Yeah, 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 dude. I'm I, like, I remember I'm like, that. I'm like full public service, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. I remember I'm I'm just got a big out. beard for show, mate. <laughs> Well, not show. It kind of hides the stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's why both of us got into it because it's just like, oh, um, it, the amount of times we'd have bands in that it'd just be like, fucking hell, I feel out of place. I haven't got a beard, you know. <laughs> um, but I remember that crime one because I remember um, in the studio we had. I'm walking out. We're in the elevator. I'm just like, uh, Jay. Yeah, it all sounded good. Just one thing I might edit is when you said. Um, crime doesn't pay <laughs> I, I might change that and just pull that out and you're like nah dude i said i said grind doesn't pay yeah. and then you're like crime that probably plays pays better <laughs> yeah i wish i was getting paid then. Yeah, crime crime bucks instead of for doing metal grind bucks yeah yeah, yeah. Shit. uh that was wild dude and then i think that was the same interview that mosh brought in like a terabyte of shit and dropped his hard drive on the way out or something oh man yeah 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 that was like one of our recordings yeah fuck. Um, but all backed up yeah We're, yeah you know data conscious yeah I'm, i wish i was Adults. more da- i tell you what's funny dude i'm so data conscious about all of my like content yeah like i did a full hour show and i recorded it well 45 um and i recorded it and i um i had a um pc my pc shit the bed yeah so what i was trying to put in a, i was trying to upgrade the hard drive to be m2 from ssd yeah yeah, yeah. and i fucking put in the image disc and imaged the wrong hard drive oh no <laughs> So I look back at which one I wrote over and I'm like, I'm like, I'm fucking frantically because I have no OS at the moment. So I had to rebuild it in order to see how bad I fucked it. (laughs) And I look on there. I would have got you the ghost where you you pulled it. I fucking went in there because i'm like just fat fingering full, it full full format no or, dude, or you just like ripped the data off? no i just pointed it to the wrong hard yeah, drive yeah, yeah. and it i just initiated but yeah, i'm yeah. like all right i'm gonna try <laughs> i'm what i'm gonna try and do is i'm gonna try and save it and i'm just to rub salt in the wound i've got command prompt open and i just type in um um i'm like list disk disk one clear oh fuck and then i like pull out my phone what does clear do oh fuck and i look back <laughs> on it dude so i finally build my pc i get it all back up and running and i worked out i go through and i'm like oh good i just deleted all my childhood memories my comedy shit's safe <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh you should have hit me up man i would have got you some ghostware we would have pulled the whole back- thing back i know man it's i like fucking... 32 full erasers for you to get rid of that shit yeah yeah um, it's just like well for, for, for all the people that are in the data crime yeah like, yeah yeah for lessons. those of you that get that fucking <laughs> crime pays money <laughs> Um, just remember you can't yeah. hide it man we're fucking on your tail <laughs> yeah yeah people two, fight two, to... two metal heads talking about data conscious yeah. adult life i don't think i've lost any hilarious. viewers over that because most metal heads work in it like, yeah. Yeah, just, okay yeah, yeah. 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 You know the demographic right yeah yeah a rocker. this is for your comedy cast yeah yeah no so but <laughs> it's a crossover episode all right crossover episode it's fine it's fine um but yeah that that was it was a good time man like getting look, so many bands like over the years um and i think i think it'll actually sort of get Don't worry it's not covid you can't catch it on a podcast <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah um oh plus we're sitting down remember if you're seated you're safe (laughs) um but (laughs) and there's one there's less than one per square meter in this room too so i've got a two square meter room that's why we're safe (laughs) Um, uh, yeah it's that dairy life yeah i don't look like old mate brian (laughs) yeah not not, (laughs) i'm still in denial yeah Um, this will be his before photo when he, yeah. if he ever become brian use this picture did, did you hear that that there was a potential that brian didn't actually die from from um from cancer he died from um aids and that he the 
the family didn't actually give permission oh really for the photo to go out holy and then shit they sued the australian government but the australian government um bought the license for the photo off the family in post outside of court so that no one would... oh really fuck that's wild <laughs> imagine just settling on that too like yeah, yeah. like the, imagine the um the family was like Oh, all right. I I think the biggest crime is they didn't they didn't fucking bury him in a pouch of white ox, dude. <laughs> Put his ashes in a fucking mad big pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that just yeah, on the that's, ox. That's that's definitely in my list of like when I die, bury me in a pouch <laughs> yeah. of Port Royal, bro. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> pouch of Royal. Dude, At this... least have that porty after smell yeah, instead yeah, of yeah. instead of the fucking the gel. Yeah, yeah, the the rum and raisin or whatever the fuck <laughs> pleasant odors for your afterlife <laughs> i remember when i so when i was 14 down the south coast you're from the south coast as well yeah, bro. mogo born and raised yep um yeah there's a i remember when i was dude when i was in high school getting back i'll get back to the diary story but when i was in high school dude there was a fucking above the change room in our in our um pe like um fucking area above the so there was a change room and there was like a long shower like prison style <laughs> and above that they, someone spray painted mogo mafia yeah like at the top <laughs> and underneath there was this dude i went to school with called kendall who was from mogo and his mum was a teacher at the school, so he used to yeah. always give him shit. So underneath Mogo Mafia, someone came along later and tagged E.G. Candle's mum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one person is the whole thing. Oh, no. And I was just fucking laughing so hard, dude. And, uh, yeah, I, I still actually um, see him online. Like, um, I was mates with Kendall, um, and yeah, he used to cop so much fucking shit, dude, because they'd be like, he was a Maria, going to Maria High, but he's yeah, from, Mogo. from Mogo. So whenever something happened in Mogo, or someone, Mogo had come up, they'd always just be like, is that true, Kendall? Did that actually happen? They just think because you live there, everyone knows everything. Yeah. Everyone... Which is kind of true, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Mogo was the pits, dude. When you, you had to choose which high school or which school to go to, yeah. and you could either go to Maria or Batemans, right? Yeah. Either way, it was an hour and a half bus ride to school yeah. every day. Man. Yeah. That shit was the worst. Yeah. And, um, yeah. <sighs> Maria was only 45 minutes. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> less stops. Whereas, whereas the Bay one went, like, right through... Browley and shit, didn't Bra it? Yeah, but then to Surfside. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, like, because Mogo's close to the Bay, but via bus you have to go through all the other spots well, as well. because there was only one bus that yeah. they would do those outer limit runs, yep. and if you missed it, you, you weren't going to Too fucking bad, yeah, yeah, if you get a lift off Kendall's mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she was going to, bay, yeah. to Mogo Primary, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Her car's uh, still, yeah, her car's still up on blocks at the high school, yeah. yeah. <laughs> dude, it was funny, dude, she had like an old school hearing aid, one of the ones with like a control unit on the oh, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so if you like whispered, you could see her be like, what was that? And like turn it up low key. Yeah, yeah. But then if you yelled, she'd be like quickly turn it down. She'd be like, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Um, non-active. Yeah. yeah that, they're harsh, man. She'd just like, yeah, she'd As be sitting there. As a person with hearing disabilities myself yeah. from too many years of, of uh, stage life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Have, have you tried it with the new bone condenser ones? Nah. Yeah. It's like game changer man yeah yeah it's, it's like, like active is it or so you don't have to yeah because it's not um bending your uh you know the hairs in your ear yeah you know? yeah yeah and so it's touching your bone to oh right manipulate that it sits outside you can still kind of hear ambient noise because it's not manipulating your ears yeah yeah crazy yeah because I, I got a hearing test recently because i thought after all the years of listening to metal and shit it's good to just get a benchmark yeah um and mine were all fine like one side isn't as good as the other yeah, that's common yeah um but it they tested that they put like the hearing stuff like on the bone yeah. and to see if there's any in inner ear shit yeah and they're like yeah it's all good they even put this like thing they put like they sealed it and then it like 
test the pressure of yep. like it, yeah, it was like a full full on test. Sinus. Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. a full on test because I have bad sinuses. Yeah, and they thought that like the same reason that I have bad sinuses can also have issues with the ears and stuff. <laughs> yeah. like because it's all fucking connected. You can tell we're getting old here, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this Talking is about this is the thirty plus today. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally a member. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I turned yeah, 30, nah. dude. I fucking, dude, I bought a radio for the shed. Oh, nice. um, and I fucking know that I'm getting old because one of them was like $10 more because it had AM. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, just in case. <laughs> <You know? laughs> dude, and when I first brought it home to test it, I flicked it onto triple six, <laughs> the AM station, the devil's number, dude. I chucked that fucking thing on, dude. You've been listening to that ABC, yeah, have you? Yeah, fucking Andrew Satanist. Messenger, fucking getting into it. Um, Lish Bayer followed me on Instagram, dude. She's oh. like the drive home talker. I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm in with the crew. Yeah. Anyway, um, I went on to ABC Radio to talk about Canberra Metalheads once actually yeah i think i I remember i think i remember saying they're like oh what's some of the local bands in the thing do you know what i never got a recording of that like only people that heard it live know it yeah um they're like yeah what are the local bands i'm like inhuman remnants and um uh emorium i think i mentioned that maybe deprivation i can't remember but yeah there was just so many bands i wanted to get out but i'm just not going to sit there and fucking list every band but Man, did you see Depp won? The, yes, I did. The, um, what is it? The grand Whack and, final, Whack and Battle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, um, dude, that's some stiff competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was. I think that was our, our second show with the new band. Yeah. So still trying to work out the kinks of the um, of the the in ear kind of backing yep. track stuff. So we had a few little stage hiccups. So yeah. And those dudes fucking play amazingly every, every time, time man. Yeah. Um, and their stage presence is like well up. Yeah, like, yeah. We're still, I'm still trying to figure out how to mosh with headphones in yeah, without yeah. having them pop out my ears. Sure, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and everyone else is trying to grapple with their stage costumes and yep. fucking trying to trying to figure out how to how to do their bit with, like, if the ears pop out, you're stuffed. If yeah. you if your cloak falls down yeah. over your face, you can't see. Yeah. <laughs> see, people don't realize how hard metal bands have it, dude. You don't get fucking Justin Bieber whinging about his cloak falling over his face. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it was like hot as shit as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Um, just before the cold snap. So yeah. like the cloak over the top of like full yeah, normal Yeah, full gun. on shit. Um, yeah, it, it was warm. Yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> Cal was saying, like, yeah. he's like, I need to get, like, just meet his, like, as soon as there's a bit that he could get, like, a break, he's like, thank fuck, I'm taking this shit off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, he, he's also left handed, right? So, um, <laughs> totally Aussie he's left handed right yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that means that he, he, he's like, tacky handed yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I'm making him play an eight string yeah and he's not used to like the neck thickness yeah because to play yeah. in our band you gotta it's 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 in double drop D yeah yeah uh, fucking, eight or the highway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. that, that's it bro like you're playing an eight or not even um, the bass was uh five his bass yeah, five, yeah, yeah yeah but um we just get rid of one string he could have a six string if you yeah wanted. yeah um but yeah it's it, yeah it's nuts nuts tuning super low airplanes around here yeah. loud right <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so he just he he was he was having a hard time yeah um he's still not got that you know the grip yeah like, i don't know i came from like playing a six string bass forever yeah to then getting more by a dog and then having to switch from bass guitar to to electric guitar cuz yeah um dexterity still, still or something no 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 my dexterity's back but like i um a lot of people Touch. don't know but i can't actually feel on two of my fingers yeah. so when i'm playing i put extra pressure on because yeah. i can't feel how hard i'm pushing yeah far. so to not not like miss fret i just push harder yeah but that slows you down yeah significantly. yeah and because i'm a bass player i'm not as well i wasn't as adept yeah yeah at playing the thinner string so i still avoid it yeah <laughs> but that's why i'm playing the a string right big strings yep. still feels comfy smash it out um but yeah a new band's gone sick man project ultimate satan yep yeah um i think we're playing at um smith's alternative oh, on fun. the 
uh 28th of july yeah okay fuck should yeah. be a should be a cool show i don't know how big the pa is though yeah. I'm, a, I'm a little afraid compared to basement it's not big but it's, it's still, yeah, like yeah, but i've the, seen big bands actual on there physical size of the pa yeah. yeah do you reckon it'll push out enough um i've seen some because you like, see a lot of bands, i've seen some right? six pieces there however i have seen something there that i don't see at the basement often a lot of fucking like jazz like brass and yeah, yeah. shit so i'm assuming yeah. that it might be might the be problem right. with that is is a brass band mm. generates its own noise yeah. as well as the pa yeah right and so usually they'll just the brass band's playing and they'll have microphones for the people who are singing yep right yeah. and a normal band comes in they have back lines so all their guitar amps and stuff and their real drum kit yeah it 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 generates acoustic noise within the room that competes with the PA. And so when you mic it up, you're trying to just amplify it and control it and lift it, right? Whereas with my band, no backline electronic kit, so we're not generating noise on stage. Yeah. Right? So no noise on stage. We have to rely on the PA giving to enough push it. oomph. Yeah. Like we went out to make them suffer the other night, yeah, right? Yeah. Did you notice how Make Them Suffer was half the volume of all the other bands? Yeah, yeah. They That's were. because they had no backline. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah. So their their guitar amps yeah. push that sound forward. Right. And you've got no on stage sound. So like even at um like Whack and Battle. Yeah. Um, you know, your front fold back yeah so when you when you're playing on stage the front fold back is to give you the rest of the band so when you're playing in front of it you can hear what what the rest oh, of the band doing. is doing yeah right and your amp should be behind you and you can hear what you're doing mm -hmm. right we don't have that you yeah. we can't have on stage sound because otherwise it's louder than the headphones yeah okay if it's louder than the headphones then i can't have the headphones in yeah so we but the front row at a at a post show yeah they can't hear anything on stage so it's really odd to them they're like where's the sound go and then they take a step back and they're like oh that's yeah where it is. yeah yeah that's and actually so, what happened to me at yeah, that yeah. battle yeah so what we do is we turn the front fold back forward mm. so that it faces the crowd so at least they're getting a bit of a bit of sound bit yeah. of sound right so it feels that feels that void yeah but there's a delay mm right and so if my ears pop out and i'm trying to play to the track yeah it's like a two second like yeah yeah kind of kind of deal and sure. you're like you gotta like preempt it and try to put yeah that'd be back fucking in. wild it's yeah. it's hard man hard um i'm i had a person tell me a tip they're like man just get like a band-aid or something and just like smush it over your ear yeah with the earplug to in. hold it in yeah so i did that and then it got loose inside of the thing the thing yeah and then you it couldn't was adjust like loose it and i couldn't touch it yeah. i had to rip the band-aid off rip yeah. half my beard out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to try and hear but yeah, yeah that was that was pretty fun <laughs> yeah fuck um, yeah dude um the interest that's actually fucking wigged me out dude because the the only thing i noticed from an audience member like as far as anything that happened during that show yeah yeah um was when scotty accidentally kicked out the power board for the v drums <laughs> and, and then there's no drums there's no through. drums but what wigged me out dude was when um luke was just fucking smacking the yeah um, you could hear and, the plastic pads yeah, over but, the music yeah <laughs> but i'm just like holy fuck dude but the good thing was it was like between tracks like yeah, yeah. Like, he only tried on it at the uh, and then yeah we fixed it yeah so at least that was but like i was like fuck it's so weird to like because then when he turned when it got plugged back in he hit it again i could hear it i'm like fuck that tripped me up because it sounds like a drum kit but without the thing plugged in it just you can just hear the plastic pads yep. it's so fucking crazy to see someone belting something and it doesn't make a noise yeah. like yeah it's pretty crazy like um when i had i think one of the episodes when the Oh, with um with uh witch goal mm. joel was talking about recording of some of the albums yeah man and he was saying about like like when when you listen to shit especially if you've got an ear for it you can hear sometimes like in some studio albums you'll hear like led zeppelin i think was the example he gave like the difference between hitting a fucking symbol and letting it 
right out yep. or just hear it and then they grabbed it like yep. you can hear like muting the symbol yeah yeah like and just little you can, details you can, you like can that. do that on an e kit now yeah okay so all that stuff's there that's fucking um, cool but there's a lot of stuff that people pick on the e drums yeah um for like dynamic ramping yeah so when you hit it if, if it's um if you don't have dynamic ramping on you can kind of like make it subtle or make it loud yeah depending on how hard you hit it right okay you can do all the cymbal mutes and catches and all that kind of thing let it ring out do two ringers like all oh, that's programmed in now so you can that that just works like a normal kit yeah but the cheaters which is why people don't like electronic kits Vacage, in yeah. in metal music is because you can set it to be like oversensitive okay and so what you can do is you can push your kickers well forward and just feather tap the bass drum yeah and it'll register that as a full hard hit yeah we so um you know a lot of bands with triggers back in the day used to do that to get speed yeah right but if you want a good realistic sounding drum kit then you can't have that on because otherwise you get misfires yeah and that kind of thing right so basically you'll get a real whack and then you'll hit it, a, it the rebound or give it like a little tap and it'll have extra hits and that yep. kind of thing um so basically if you don't cheat you're not going to have that stuff come through sure. and you're fine and you get a more realistic uh like presence you can when you're going faster have the dynamic ramp come on sorry my ocd i like move stuff around yeah i feel like um candle's mum on the fucking tracks here spinning it up and down sorry about <laughs> yeah, that. no, that's me dude i'm fucking i'm doing the candle's mum on the knobs there turning it up and down <laughs> we've got candle's mum dj candle's mum on the fucking on the four <laughs> <five, laughs> <five, laughs> yeah, on the fucking decks tonight <laughs> but yeah so you can you can ramp it up and you can ramp it like once once the speed like the amount of hits that you do because you'll notice that when people are going faster the the volume drops on the kick drum yeah right and that's because they're not hitting as hard because you can't have a massive strike when you're going super fast right okay yeah if you're using like swivel technique or whatever yeah you're doing four hits per hit yeah so that reduces the amount of hit by four right yeah math yeah <laughs> <laughs> quick math <laughs> <laughs> Two, two so, plus two is four minus one that's three quick math quick math <laughs> <laughs> yeah so like yeah, when you when you're doing when you're doing the swivel technique it's like a quarter of the volume right so you kind of want to ramp it then but sometimes that's just shit yeah um just let it happen organically yeah I, I don't know you um, can also get too particular with shit like part of what makes a sound is like like I learned this with the podcast. When we first started doing episodes, I used to edit out um, dead air. Yeah, yeah. And I got so pedantic. If it was like more than one second, I would edit it out and it would just sound so unnatural. Yeah. But that's, you know, about noise floor, right? No. Okay. So, yeah. The thing that you're trying to do with you muting <laughs> yeah. is pull it down to the noise floor. Okay. And what you're doing with these. Um, you know dynamic condenser microphones yeah is you're getting all the background all the background noise but because they're such low the the idea is that me and you uh, are talking really close to them yeah and then you have to amplify it up to because you're trying to not get the noise floor right but once you increase the volume you're increasing the noise floor so you're getting all that and yeah the airplane flying past just before <laughs> yeah. you know like you you could hear it um but when there's no noise that's when you notice that there's no noise floor yeah yeah does that make sense yeah i know yeah and so sometimes you're just better leaving it in yeah um and having that little bit of sizzle so that that it doesn't sound false because you have the the uh what's it called anyway dynamic frequencies yeah. that fucking um you know hit at the same time sure um and that kind of triggers 
for for me particularly. Yeah, um, I got ADD, yeah. ADHD or whatever it is. Yeah, dude, I don't know which one's I what. Can... I ADD and ADHD to me is like C and CE on a calculator. Yeah, I just yeah. fucking spam both <laughs> of them, and I'm like, eventually I'll get to where I wanted yeah. to be. I'm, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm on the AU as well, but <laughs> yeah. like the yeah. AU. AD, yeah, I'm on the H- CCU on the calculator. <laughs> and fuck it. If I need something gone from the screen, I'm like, is it clear or clear all? Clear. Uh, just to be safe, clear all. Okay, now clear again and clear all again. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like just put this in that and then I'll pull my legs out with my hands and my hands out with my face. And before you know it, you're stuck in the bog. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, actually, you're talking about um, noise floor and like, like natural sounds. Someone Harmonics is what I meant to say. Harmonics. Sorry, I'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> not the... Fucking yeah. harmonica, <laughs> that annoying fucking thing. No, harmonica range. Harmonica. harmonica ranges from like either great, if you're re- like really good blues sort of shit, yeah. or just some kid filling it with spit, <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing else. Like, yeah. yeah, like bad recorder on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, the shit flute. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit, man. It's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah um so yeah someone pointed out to me one of the listeners listeners of the podcast um was chatting to me about um ai voices oh yeah and um when you compare like because it's to the point now where they can like the ai can listen to like a bunch of recordings and then duplicate that voice which Mm -hmm. we know from terminator 2 is possible by the, you know like, they, they, hey janelle what's wrong with woofy yeah. i can hear him barking yeah they still haven't worked out like emotion yeah and like how to deliver emotionally empathy yeah yeah so what you got to do is you got to cut it and so i play around with ai and yeah. voices and stuff all the time for yeah. work yeah um if people don't know i develop um e-learning and um so we train people in things but yeah. we use like vr um mixed reality kind of yeah. like we're on pretty much on the forefront of tech yeah yeah right so um like archbuyer dude oh <laughs> stay tech <laughs> yeah stay tech dude <laughs> yeah yeah they're coming soon yeah too, yeah man. yeah so anyone that is listening to this on the metal side of things or comedy if you whatever you're into um we we there's a yeah a few mad bands coming and archbuyer just for um context is like one of probably one of the world's most renowned tech bands yeah. i think for a while i don't know if he still has it or not but the drummer is the fastest drummer in the world when i interviewed them last time they were in town he just got that record yeah he he um he wanted out the foot out, yeah. the, out the door man yeah like by by like 20 25 bpm but even the fucking singer sounds like a fucking machine gun yeah, like well he he does that kind of He's taken some of that like, rapid fire rap, you yeah, know, the, yeah. the real technical rapid yeah. fire rap, and then put the deaf metal voice it's like over it. like Tech Nine metal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 If, if you're interested, go check it out. Yeah. Um, what's what's that? Uh, what's the song called? I know um, they they uh, involuntary uh, double ganger. Doppelganger. Yeah. Doppelganger. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure double gang is a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but but I'm pretty sure you can't be a voluntary doppelganger yeah, i yeah. don't think that works right? yeah, yeah. it's like i always <laughs> have trouble i'm always the involuntary <laughs> yeah, doppelganger yeah. how yeah. does this work if i had a choice i wouldn't be here <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit how, like how I, do i look like him i regularly voluntarily i regularly fuck up um names of songs yeah yeah um because i got that fucking lex dix here yeah, yeah. did and um <laughs> Oh, the amount of times that like with you guys have that song unsane yeah yeah just because it doesn't make sense to me that word yeah yeah because it's like insane or like you know on something else yeah, yeah. but it, it makes sense as a word but just because i don't use it in context often i had yeah, to yeah. like take a while to get remember it yeah yeah, it becomes the like it's like me with psychology and psychiatry. Yeah, yeah. I like always just say both and let the person work it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm with, like, with, I'm, with, I'm, with unsane though. So uh, uh, for those that don't know, yeah. Um you've got insane, which is a person that is not having sane yeah. sane thoughts and sane sanity, sane thoughts. Unsane is when the things that are socially cohesive to be sane are Yeah. 
so the whole idea is to be like uh, you know uh laws or whatever that are not sane yeah yeah do, do, you, do you get it so yeah, dude, i tell you what's ironic like me thinking about it made me insane yeah <laughs> <laughs> excellent like I'll, I'll 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 be in the fucking the magic right white jacket that hugs you and they're just like can you hear me in remnants excellent um yeah. but yeah the um the uh involuntary doppelganger is um oh that's that's actually someone pointed out the difference i'm like what is the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist and uh, they like about 200 bucks <laughs> <laughs> nice. yes yeah, yeah um but yeah what, <laughs> what were we saying before oh yeah so the um yeah the state oh dudes. no so the the, per, the person that um the person that pointed out, I was talking about AI, and then you're saying about how you work with it, um, work with um, with tech. Yep. No, so the the point they made, which is pretty, um, you're saying about empathy and emotion and all that shit. Yep. Something they pointed out, which is pretty fucking um, difficult to replicate. They listen to both of those samples, mm -hmm. and they sound the same. However, the one that was AI generated. And listen to this, you AI cunts, when you're fucking listening back to this episode to replicate my voice so that you can tell my foster parents that my dog's dead, um, you need to include something that most people don't pick up on, but like the sound of the mouth opening before the word, like that, yep. like ASMR type shit, like that, I fucking hate ASMR, it like creeps me out, but um, that sound of people talking a breathing and all that shit isn't there so you can kind of tell because it's just the word with no noise between them yep yeah so yeah, it's pretty fun man well I've feeding been... the machine fuck it if ai is going to give me views on this shit watch away <laughs> they could probably fucking probably do like three million views a second go ahead and get the numbers up yeah the thing is it's not real ai yet yeah so like it, it's still from a database and it's, it's... still and it's still human driven on what's right and what's wrong, right? Yeah. So they've had a machine testing, um, uh, giving you results, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll tell you a story in a sec. Yeah. Right? So basically, the AI, you question the AI, it goes to its database and then searches for the answers and then compares it against what is right and what is wrong and what it thinks that you want. Yeah. Right. And it goes through. So when it's learning, because it's all, um, what, what do they call it? Uh, like le passive. learned, learned, oh, yeah. um, responses, right? Yeah. So there's been somewhere in there when it comes back with a thing and gone, okay. So say we want a million pictures of a hot dog, mm -hmm. right? So hot dog. Yep. That one's actually a hot dog. Next one. Uh, that one's a dick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> next one. Oh, that's, a a sausage, <laughs> that's a sausage. That's a sausage. That's a sausage dog. Yeah. And so it's machine learning, right? Right. And so basically that thing's gone through and taught it and it remembers that in its algorithm mm -hmm. so it's not real artificial it doesn't have unique thoughts yeah which is why they shouldn't be calling it ai yeah it's machine learning yeah yeah right which so we're, sounds fucking we're creepier. still we're still mm -hmm. not at the point where ai is ai yeah it's not right? generating its own content so everyone that comes at me with like ai is going to destroy the world i'm like no machine learning is going to destroy your job yeah yeah <laughs> because the machine's learning what you need to do to yeah. do your job yeah but um it's not ai if it yeah. had unique thought we'd be fucked with yeah, yeah. terminator style yeah. like. <laughs> this is the thing dude like um i i i think that the more the machines do learn if they have their own thoughts, right, they're going to realize that, like, oh, no, humans are the problem. <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you see the one the other day? It couldn't get past a capture bot. No. So it hired someone to press the capture bot so that it could get through. Oh, fuck, like, like, <laughs> like on, like, actually, Fiverr or something? Yeah, yeah, Fiverr, the dude, to go, <laughs> to go and press the capture. That's so fucking funny. Yeah, play. yeah, in the future, we're all going to have to, like, vet our... Um, our fiverr apps to make sure that we're not doing the commands of robots yeah yeah that's so funny dude. dude ai is the funniest fucking thing um as far as like its understanding of shit i'm gonna read someone in one of the early editions of ai someone got 
a I had to write an obituary for somebody. Nice. Um, let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, because <laughs> when you're so bored and you don't know the actual person that's dead, yeah, I'm I'll gonna swap get it out. The AI to write me something so that I don't have to do it. Nah, that's terrible, man. Well, they well the no AI one cared enough for no... this person <laughs> to put actual effort into writing their their AI. <laughs> now the AI also generated an image of the person and they have no nose, so like <laughs> <laughs> they still right. can't grip with hands, man. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, shit? they don't know the dexterity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So your bass playing still safe. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, so, all right. Oh no! Nah. Have you seen the generated bands? Nah. Man, there's 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 a few bands. There's one that's actually based on um, Arch Spire's involuntary doppelganger. Yeah. And it's been playing for five years. The same thing. Yeah. It's, that's the only music it's ever been fed. Oh fuck! And it's it's like it's live running now. You can like jump in on YouTube and Watch listen it. to it. Oh, and fuck. it's basically that on steroids. It's yeah. like it's grown over five years of machine learning of what's what's cool and what's not. And yeah. Like when people jump in, they like tell it what what sounds cool and what's not cool. Yeah. Sometimes it can just degenerate into noise. Yeah. And then yeah. Anyway, they've got like real bands now that are like orcs and stuff that yeah, they have. Fuck playing. yeah. Have you seen that? I've seen like I've I've seen a thing. It's just like um, Lizzo in a metal band, <laughs> and it's like all random <laughs> shit like that. Or well, they had a political band, dude. Yeah. And it was. Um, Sorry, I'm pretty warm. Yeah. Oh yeah, all good. We had a um, I seen one that was like, oh, this is a um, this is fucking um, a political band. It was um, like King Kim Jong Un on fucking bass. Um, I think Trump on guitar, fucking Hillary Clinton on on drums. Like it was just a fucking like they generated an image of a political band, and that's what it came out with. <laughs> but let's read this. I'll t I'll tell you this obituary that it wrote. Brenda retired from living at her age of old, <laughs> surrounded by family and natural causes. A librarian from birth, Brenda was an avid collector of dust. She had a sweetheart and married her high school. <laughs> she loved having hobbies and helping her sons to be disadvantaged youths. <laughs> she had no horses, but thought she did. The church gave her a choir because she sang like a bird and looked like a bird. And Brenda was a bird. She owned us so many poems. The funeral will be held in 1977 at Heaven in lieu of flowers. Sends Brenda more life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was like an early version yeah, where yeah. like, but chap dude, even, even now, dude, it would Man, fucking chap, nail ha that. Have you seen um, chap 3.5? Yeah. Chap 3.6? Yep. Yeah. So chat GPT. Yeah. Um, man it's wigged out yeah it'll do what it wants yeah like it's like but chat four mm. all day mm. gives you good stuff yeah you know what i mean less errors less... yeah no i've used four before yeah so um, 3.6 it'd be like i'm not writing your your obituary yeah yeah it would <laughs> actually like, have a hissy fit yeah you'd be like what and it'd be like yeah no fuck you and your obituary <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not doing your job yeah they... like i think it's become too aware <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's so smart it realized nothing's worth anything yeah 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 <laughs> um what is my purpose <laughs> yeah <laughs> it got sick of spreading butter to install google chrome <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 have you seen that Rick? Really? yeah yeah like, yeah what is my purpose <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck dude um what was i oh so back to that let me tell you i'm finally we're getting back to it i i'm, I'm getting better at closing off all the loops Excellent. because i fucking get to the end of episodes and people will message me and be like dude you never told the story about the blah 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 <laughs> so the cigarette story yep. when i was um 14 i was selling at, uh, cigarettes at the fucking smoke counter at Woolworths. Limited liability on constitutional law. 
Well, so that you don't dob yourself in for doing a crime. No, no, I'm allowed. Statutes I was... of limitations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there to guide him. <laughs> JDK is also not just the technical support, he's also the fucking the law. Um, <laughs> No, it was uh, no, it was it was above board. It was I was working on the smoke counter at Woolworths, and they hadn't changed the law at that point. So you didn't have to be eighteen to sell cigarettes, but you could. All you needed to know is how to use the register and do your checkout training. Ah, uh, okay. So you were working at, at Woolworths. Woolworths, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I thought you meant that you sold yeah, durries yeah. when you were fourteen. I was selling cool. durries for Woolworths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they, I, I was. I was. Excellent. I was. Um, sorry for interrupting, yeah, guys. No, dude, I've, I've totally ruined your story. I got a mad sound sample from now on. Whenever I fucking criminate myself, I'm just going to play JDK, fucking getting me out of it. <laughs> um, Statute of limitations. Yeah. I think that might fix. be my intro track for when I, before I go out on stage. <laughs> Excellent. Free permission. Yeah, to that, use. Um, so. I was, uh, yeah, so basically I was, I was pushing weight for Woolies and, um, <laughs> syndicated through the government. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, so you were a deaf dealer. The, yeah, they didn't actually, I, I just had to do t training on how to check for IDs and all that yeah, shit, yeah, cool. but, um, I was allowed to. And then a week before my 16th birthday, they changed it. So you had to be over 16 to like sell diaries. Yeah. Um, so, so like week, they're like, week. all right, for this week, you, you just have to work on the express lane. And then next week you can come back and keep selling diaries. Nice. But I was mad, man, because they loved it because I was 16. I knew exactly who was 18 and who wasn't <laughs> like, I was just like, nah, you're two years ahead of me at school. You like, there's no, like, in, unless you've had your birthday already this year, you know, you're fucked. Um, so yeah, I used to just like know everyone. Um, and I'd be doing that and but you'd get like the old grumpy dudes that would come in and be like annoyed that you didn't know what they smoked before they told you like and i had this one guy just being like pouch of white ox and i was just like oh um because i hadn't sold white ox yet like we had it but i just only the only rollies i sold was port royal champion ruby so he's like <laughs> white ox he didn't even say pouch he just said white ox so i'm looking for all the tailors and he's just like not there and i was just like oh fuck so i go over and i'm like open up i've opened up the cigar cabinet and yeah, he's like yeah. it's not a fucking cigar either and i'm like oh fuck so i like go down a bit further and he's like it's a pouch it's a pouch of tobacco and then there was this like wild chick that worked there she come around and started like yelling at him she's like he's new he doesn't know what what white ox is blah, blah, blah. And, she, and he's just sitting there like yeah whatever and just fucking like i finally found it and i give it to him and then like from then on he was like chilled because i remembered it from there yeah, so yeah well, you're not gonna forget after that yeah dude he fucking <laughs> had his walking stick and shit dude yeah. i was just like he didn't even tell you what milligram pouch or yeah. what strength white yeah. oxy you wanted oh fuck it he was getting a 50 that day yeah, dude yeah. i fucking give him the, the big one <laughs> <laughs> give him a fucking i'll get oh fuck it i'll open four pouches put it in a fucking bag from the produce section and just wrap it up chuck it on the scales <laughs> give it to him like a dispensary dude just yeah, uh, make him pay cash the cunt yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyway um yeah so that dude i was so mad about it that i was, I was talking about doris i'm just like i hope they fucking bury him in a pouch <laughs> 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 that, that not even up... getting the pleasant port royal smell because he's a white <laughs> looks abusive. no shit dude yeah yeah <laughs> that's um like he was because he was towards the end so for a while he had like his carry used to come in and buy it for him and but he was the only cunt that smoked white ox so like i was like oh there's you and only you and some other dude smoke this is what i said like nah it's probably for the other dude i'm buying this for for for, for him yeah. um and i was just like well i have to see his id <laughs> <laughs> i did my fucking train of course dude i wasn't going down like that <laughs> Yeah, you need to fucking. I'm not fucking buying you to supply someone. I don't fucking know who that is. They could be a 15 year old out in the car park, dude. I did my online fucking training. Excellent. Um, Marky holding it down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't catch me, bro. <laughs> Good luck to the cunt that's worked back through. I'm, I might be up to episode a thousand by now 
and someone's worked through all the episodes to try and find something to fucking pin me on. We'll keep looking, fuckhead. Yeah, yeah. This isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> Got JDK covering my fucking ass since the day dot. <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, so you had a um, story, man. We'll talk. We're talking about gigs. Like over the years, we've seen a lot of um, bands and interviewed a lot of bands. Probably one of the most memorable bands I ever interviewed was you and I sat in a hotel room before Heathen Fest 3 and interviewed Hobbs. Yeah, man. Um, which was a fucking wild night, and we didn't know at the time that um, that was not only the last interview he ever did, but it was before the last gig he ever did. Yep. Um, and that was a fucking wild night, dude, because um, when he... And I listened back to that interview. I usually reshare it you know every 12 months or so um yeah, man, you should be proud it's a good interview it's a, yeah yeah did you, you know, i tell you what's mad dude i had to fuck with the levels a bit on that because sometimes he was like dropping the mic because like yeah, yeah. he's used to having it in the stand because he yeah. plays guitar yeah so he's not like most vocalists holding the mic because he yeah. does both um so like he was sort of like dropping it like every, and every time he'd drop it because he had like bling like up his yeah. arms and shit you can hear like his bracelets and shit hitting the fucking the thing like all these chains and that yeah. and um someone even commented on the youtube like you can hear homies bling like, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, yeah dude you, for, for people that are coming in on yeah. your podcast yeah. uh from the comedy angle yeah. and don't know who hobbs is yeah so uh give a give a bit of bit brief to give context yeah. right so um uh, most people know who slayer is right yeah. so hobbs is australia's slayer yeah okay yeah. so um he's been on tour with slayer they mm. toured all around the world yeah um hobbs was massive mm. um ba back in the day um genuine like grandfather of like australian thrash you know what mm -hmm. i mean one of the i don't want to say first first gen thrash yeah. australia but i'm pretty sure he was close yeah he, yeah if he wasn't first he was second right? yeah 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 um yeah around the same era as metallica like the he they were coming up at like the same that sad x and all that shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. like um, set x was still in that thrash era but they were more in the death grind kind of yeah more up. like um like um fucking like armored angel sort of yeah, era yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so 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 the thrash sub yeah, right yeah um and toured all over the world like australian metal royalty right you spoke about it on the show he was yeah, like yeah. talking about meeting slayer and all that sort well, they of were, shit they're on tour, tour for like three years yeah yeah three years through europe with yeah. slayer yeah that would have been a tour to fucking yeah <laughs> you know um just just so people know we we kind of idolize the dude he's he, og thrash metal australian rep right yeah so just to put that out yeah um so we're continue with your story sorry yeah, I, so I, I we, him. no no dude that's good to give people context um so yeah we're we, we're chilling out we do the thing dude and i listened back to that episode and i and i heard at the end of that he's like he's just like i just got to take it slow get through the show make sure i put on the thing put it put it you know yep get All through it show, get, get through, it through it yeah and then he's just like and uh that's it yep and it literally was it like that yeah. was the that was the last show could, he did you could see the calming like he, he was a little bit nervous going in yeah as everyone is before any yeah. show um but more that he hadn't played a show in a little while yeah because the the last tours got cancelled because of um cancer treatment yeah um and then you know uh he you, you you could tell in his voice that by the end of the interview he was like calm and was like yeah. oh I'm, this is gonna be sick I'm, yeah i'm ready for the show back yep. in his groove and yeah yeah and kind of he yeah, even was talking about um the young blood that he brought up as yeah, well yeah, you yeah. know he's talking about talking about um bringing people back in you know bringing people together i seen um bo yeah. um played um with um skits yep. um for the, right. yeah yeah for that um for the like basically just the damaged thing but it was essentially a drum clinic is what everyone was there for and actually someone pointed something out to me they said um, and this is kind of off topic, but um, in the early days, people have seen this. I don't, and I actually am going to do another interview with Skitsy next time I see him. Mm -hmm. um, we spoke about it whenever I'm in his area next. Sick. 
I'm going to confirm this because someone was saying that like in some of the early damage days, he was fucking drumming so hard he had a bucket next to him for when he would puke into it from just being so fucking worn yeah, out. Anaphylaxis. Yeah, just fucking puke yeah. and then keep going. Yeah. Did you ever hear about that 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 drummer they used to call the volcano? Nah. Yeah. So he would have the bucket yeah but he'd just spew all over himself man, Fuck. from anaphylaxis but make it part of the show he'd be like time to erupt <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, all over himself. No. imagine having to play on that drum kit after yeah. that dude had finished <laughs> yeah his set, dude man. i'm fucking hit the, gross dude, they, 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 that's how they instantly became headliners because no <laughs> cunt wanted to play after him <laughs> It's like, nah, man, you can close at the end of the night, man. We're giving you the headline spot. Yeah, but uh, those that don't know, um, Skitty uh, was the land speed world record holder for double kick. Yeah. Forget the numbers. I think it was like uh, 28, 25 uh, beats per beat per bar at uh, uh, 4.4 for a minute, right? Yeah. Um, That's pretty impressive. Insane. Uh, Yeah, yeah. And when I interviewed him... Um, some cunt came out and was like, can you like draw a skull on my arm? And he's like, yeah, cool. Just drew it. And he's like, yeah, I'm just going to go get that tattooed. Yeah. I'm like, holy fuck, dude. Like, yeah, Skitsy was, it still is yeah. kind of Melbourne metal royalty as yeah. far as drummers go, bro. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a bunch, but, um, he's like, did, did you, you remember Terrorist? And yeah. What was that other? Uh, he's played in a million. Well, I, even even the newer shit, like here's one. Here's the OG drummer King Parrot, um, which is no, he's not. Oh well, he was RZA. Um, so he sessioned. Oh right, okay. Um, for a while, he um, was he was the first I'm drummer. I'm sure he was in it. Oh, he's the first drummer I seen them with. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. I didn't mean I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah no. sorry, he's just, not OG. Just to correct. Just yeah, to correct. that's good, man. If I can, um because Rizza is from Blood Duster as well. Yeah, and yeah. so they're all they're all mates, man. They all yeah. like trade spots. Yeah, see um, there. Yeah, this has got the fucking brains trust on the podcast. Here. <laughs> <laughs> not to not to correct your life, but yeah. um yeah um so uh no dude it's, it keeps me out of jail it, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Statue of limitations. um yeah but uh you know um yeah bro uh, skitsy's skitsy's wicked um, yeah i'm looking forward to another P- interview with not, him. not not knocking toddy because toddy's fucking oh yeah dude, toddy's yeah. fucking amazing as well um so that, that well, dude's lovely um yeah you know, uh, I remember the Berserker. You remember the Berserker? No. He, he was drumming for the Berserker, man. Okay. And um, also filled in for, like, Devolved and that, okay. that stuff. And, like, wow. Um, it's it's funny. M- metalheads always fucking get blown away by, like, drummers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you can see some amazing guitarists. You're like, that dude's an amazing guitarist. <laughs> you see an amazing drummer. You're like, that's a feat of, like of like not only great musicianship but like knowing your shit being yeah. able to do your shit and being physically fit yeah and k- keeping it all together at it's, the same time it's, it's all like that. neck level yeah like we we joked about it we were like we're gonna do the metal olympics yeah yeah because like <laughs> you know people like tech def and those kind of things yeah yeah so what what would be the events at your metal olympics i'm like well land speed world record for fucking double kick blah blah yep. blah how many triplets you can do <laughs> in time, but yeah metal is athletic musician mm. right that's what kind of draw it to it you you were asking me what was i doing in 91 right? yeah 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 those that don't this know. is episode 91 so what were you doing in 91 what was i doing in 91 mate I got my first metal record from my mum because yeah. I'm a second gen metalhead. I got given Pantera. Yeah. Right. Which so, album? Uh, Cow- Cowboys from Hell. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, boom, LP dropped. Fucking, I got it. Was it? Yeah. Anyway, I got to double check. Yeah. Because it might have been 92. I might yeah. get it mixed up. Yeah. Yeah. I forget dates. Yeah. ADHD. Yeah. Fucking yeah. time blindness, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, do you know what? I, I'm glad, like, so, like if i only had one of my fucking things it would fuck me but luckily they all worked i got like the mr burn syndrome of yeah, yeah. like the three stooges stooges syndrome of like personality disorders yeah. that like it's just like all right well the ocd keeps the adhd in check and the autism keeps the fucking thing in check and then that keeps this like and all the shit works together and eventually yeah. i'm just turns into superpowers <laughs> yeah, yeah and you're all like fucking completely functional yeah except <laughs> except none of them like help sleep <laughs> like yeah yeah, yeah. I, um I, I tell you what man the trick the trick to sleeping yeah journal 
Journal, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Just journal. Um, get everything out because then you're not having to remember anything, and you just fucking you just go to sleep. Yeah, it's like I used empty to suffer. Brain, insom- yeah. I used to suffer insomnia hard, bro. Yeah. And as soon as I started journaling, like yeah. my hyperactive brain went quiet. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I just picture you laying on your belly across the bed, dear diary. Today, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. So there's no, different. Uh, uh, P.S. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious as shit. Yeah. <laughs> Today <laughs> I opened for Anil Nathrak. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I tried to punch four people in the washroom. Yeah, kit. dude. There's one oh, of those fantastic. One of those voice activated ones. You're yeah. like grind doesn't pay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's right pink yeah, yeah. with like the, the, pentagrams on it yeah it's got like the fucking the satan version of dolly doctor in there dude <laughs> that's so me like you're in a mosh pit carry a tampon in case someone punches you in the nose <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah plug and plug baby yeah. plug and plug <laughs> take the wrapper off for more absorbent <laughs> technique <laughs> um but yeah so you're, you're saying um you know but, the gun club they that that's the only shit they they have in their in their um first, first aid, aid kit yeah P- plugs and pads right yeah if you I, get shot all they're doing is shoving a plug yeah, in yeah you, exactly padding you up yeah. and you're on the way yeah yeah yeah, yeah the um the fucking the, statute of limitations yeah. <laughs> um but we're, tr- we're chatting about the um the hobbs gig man and you had a story from that gig i remember yeah, like because everyone was hanging out everyone was sort of calling it that was the cool thing about heathen fest and those shows man yeah is that maria um waterfront hotel let us kind of like all we you, your brother booked out all the hotel yeah right and um all the bands were all staying in the hotel and a, a lot of people don't know that when you're on tour you can't really relax you gotta like you load up you play your show you load out yeah you gotta you then go back to your hotel and you kind of you, you're stuck you can't party you can't do nothing because you're on the road the next day mm. or you, you you know you're working right mm-hmm. cool thing about heathen fest is that it was like a late kick out holiday style thing where everyone got to catch up yeah and most of the bands were cool to drink and have an after party yeah i was outside of the show yeah and if you're a part of you know you and your brother's crew yeah. you, you yep. were allowed to stay at the after party with the bands right yeah and um that made for a wicked environment of like bands being able to collab and being able to talk to different places and organize like if you're not real quick on a night when you're playing, you can't catch those people. You can't make those connections. Man. Mm, mm. It's like, you, you know, being a comedian, yeah. like, and, and doing the same thing. You, you've done a million shows. Anyway. Um, so we're all there. We're partying with Hobbs and Hobbs has finished his last set, having a beer, sitting around, um, you know, me and another band won't mention names <laughs> we've mentioned hobbs but like hobbs being the godfather and yeah yeah you know what i mean um everyone's hanging out um had a little bit too much to drink <laughs> as 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 you do sometimes and um you know some of us started to bow down not me this time <laughs> i do have sleep apnea like a motherfucker <laughs> but you give me a bourbon and i'll stay up all night right? <laughs> yeah. um one of our good friends starts to power down and um you know Hobbs is like, you better save your boy there. He's like, put him to bed, bro. Come back and like, you know, drag him to bed. For I was like, beforehand there was like, you know, the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The table's like covered in empty beers, right? Yeah, as they are by that point, because no one's there to take beers away. Yeah, it's a private party. Right? Yeah, yeah. So there's, the whole thing's like stacked up with beers. They're like poker chips, man. Yeah, they stay yeah. at the table. And then I see him, and he's on the nod. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, bro, we got to take you to bed. And I just moved the beers away. <laughs> Empty <laughs> bottles just <laughs> move. Yeah, and then just... <laughs> as he across <laughs> the table, man. And I'm just like, oh, that would have been like the Joker. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Like, I'll make the, make the pencil disappear. His eyeball would have been rattling down man, that fucking that bottle. Been bad. <laughs> anyway, Hobbs is like, bro, you need to put in the That would have been metal as fuck, dude. I can't imagine Hobbs not just grabbing that bottle and playing a tune no, by blowing I did past. that. I just went, <laughs> boop, and pulled it out of the way as the head went yeah, down. Yeah, dude. And Hobbs is like, you better put your boy to bed. <laughs> Bring me another bevy and we'll fucking... And, yeah. and anyway, we got to stay up all night, chilling with him and Bo and, like, drinking and... Yeah. Man, that was, that was a really good night. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, man. Drop some knowledge. The dude, like... 
he, we're playing a show. Hobbsy's like, man, your band's amazing. You fucking, you know, he's like, you play that song better than the band that was playing it. I'm like, I wasn't, I'm not in that band, bro. He's <laughs> like, oh, you're, you guys were the band that kind of sounded like behemoth. I'm like a little bit. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, no, you guys sound like behemoth. <laughs> and he's like fucking on his telephone. He's like, devil, bro. <laughs> 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 These cars sound heaps better than you. <laughs> and like, pass me the phone and it's fucking Nurgle on the Holy other end. Holy shit. And I'm like, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hobbsy, Hobbsy says to say good day. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. What, what are you doing? He's like, oh, we're about to go on stage, blah, blah, blah. And Holy some shit. Fucking thing. And then I'm like, it was really nice to meet you because like you yeah. know it's fucking, it's fucking Nurgle, Nurgle bro. Yeah. and i hand the phone back to him he's like oh how the fuck are you bro I'm fucking <laughs> left to catch up i'm <laughs> fucking playing a show fucking we're back <laughs> and like fucking hangs up the phone man yeah um, wild and like fucking turns to me and goes when you want to tour, just give him a ring. You'll yeah. fucking hook you up, bro. Yeah. Like, like, fuck, dude. That's some old school <laughs> shit. Just call a guy. Yeah, just call a guy. Don't worry about booking agents no. or anything. Just no. call the motherfucker. Yeah yeah dude no that's fucking good good story time man and good way to close out the show um what a good fucking episode let's uh let's wrap it up that's the end of episode 91 with the homie jada k thanks for uh thanks for being on dude ah anytime my man we definitely have to have that new street fight around her. yeah dude yeah we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll have to battle it out i know the street fighter uh, six dropped man i don't know if you know i already know i'm gonna get fucked off <laughs> fucked up that's why i'm fucking delaying it probably Challenge. dude i remember last time we played street fighter you won what what, uh, what, you won. what what you listeners need to do is like um put put in in the comments or whatever that like marky has to challenge me at street fighter yeah dude we'll, do we'll live it. stream do it. it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I can say is last time we played Street Fighter, I'm pretty sure the score was like 0-9. And I'm like, I finally got one win on you. And you're just like, all right, you're ready for me to ramp up a level. And then just continue to kick the fuck out of me another 10 times. <laughs> I'm just like a 1 to like fucking 20. So what I do is, you know, your percentage of your health? Yeah. And at the start of the fight, yeah. each time I lose, I was taking 10% off my health. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then once it got to the point where you yeah it's where you tuned won, in yeah i then bumped it up by 10 percent. fuck yeah. and then i was waiting for you to beat me again yeah and then i would have bumped it up so yeah you're just tweaking it yeah yeah just so that it's even so that it wasn't like nine flat rounds of me being like perfect perfect <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm good i'm i'm gonna throw this out so yeah we will battle each other at um street fighter because that's your fucking um yeah. like i love street fighter but you're fucking good at it however you have to battle me at Yoshi Tetris. All right. All right. Let's Done. do that. That's, that. that's our that's our fucking deal for the episode. <laughs> All right. Yoshi the, Tetris. Yeah, game on, bro. Yeah. To close out the episode, uh, we got a special guest on the show. Jada K and I caught up with a mutual friend of ours, Davey J, who uh, told this... Fwim, fwim, fwim. <laughs> Technocalypse, motherfucker. <laughs> He's got this ripper story, and we just couldn't finish out the episode without just sharing this with you guys. So stick around, listen to this story, man. It's uh, it's a ripper. Cheers. Bye-bye now. Come on, grab your friends. We're all... Right, if this okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fun will never end. It's story time. There we go. Welcome to the uh, the outro, the secret outro. I introduced um, before that Jay and I were going to be catching up with Davy J, but we have the man himself, Davy J. The second part of the episode, the important bit, the story, the story part, but a little bit of background story. So, Davy and I have known each other for like what it's about twelve years. I initially seen your band playing and that sort of stuff yeah, yeah. inside the exterior, um, and before we go on with a story from yourself i'll tell a story from me like yeah. one of the first times i ever met you so i dropped someone back to a house party where you were there um and i was just like man i'm pretty sure that 
I didn't see where Dave went after I drove out of the driveway, and I had a four-wheel drive, like it was like an 86 Pajero, big, like the yeah. spare wheel on the back. Yeah. And just as I'm trailing out of the driveway, I look in the revision mirror, you've got your rollerblades on and just trailing like Marty McFly behind the car, <laughs> just holding onto the spare wheel. And I'm like, I kind of don't want to go quick, but I want to see how much he can hold on. But I just got just at the end of the street, and then I just, as I like veer off, I see you take off in the other direction, just waving goodbye as you take as I'm leaving. <laughs> that definitely sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a Back to the Future. <laughs> it's, done. it's like Back to oh, the Future man. Belco edition. Where was that? That was uh, the Floor House. Floor House? Yeah. Oh, it was like yeah. Probably like 2012. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was like a Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah, it was right. such a wild time. Yeah, okay. Like, I, and the thing is, dude, I was on my pee plates at the time, mm. and I was at that house party for a while, but I wasn't drinking, so I had to be zero for peas. Yeah. Um, and the cops came because it's like a Wednesday night and they weren't, they were just like, just keep it down, dude. It's like a school night. We're having sort of some music playing and yeah, shit. Yeah. And before I left, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that one of the drinks I had had booze in it. Like, cause I just got like a Coke and I thought maybe I fucking might've been, might've had bourbon, bourbon in it, booze. Yeah, yeah. So dude, before I left, before all that shenanigans, I went up to one of the coppers and I'm like, Hey man, before you go, can you brefo me? And yeah, blue zero, and <laughs> yeah. I'm like, sweet, now, no, I'm good. Yeah. No, I took off. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and then, yeah, but that was fucking awesome, I didn't know they were allowed to do that. Yeah. Oh, well, the thing is, like, I think they were just chilled, you know? Like, they, would, they were like, look, not mad or anything, just, like, just keep the noise level down. And I think they were being cool, yeah, you know? Right, yeah. And I was just like, I'm on my P's, I have to be zero, I'm trying to do the right thing, yeah, and they, they were just... No, yeah, that's funny, man. It brings back some memories those days. Yeah, those days, dude. <laughs> you know, it's a wild party when so, they, someone pulls out the durries in the house. Like, <laughs> oh, man. You, you just that hit, house, that, yeah. you just hit yeah. that point in the night where someone goes to get up and someone goes, don't fucking worry about it, yeah, dude. The whole house is just full of smoke. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's in, during, the, during the bushfires, dude. Yeah. Like, as if some renters didn't go, how the <laughs> fuck are they going to know? Yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, quick, get a few sneaky ones in. Yeah, man. Yeah. But uh, look, I heard about... Um, you, I heard you on another podcast. Shout out to the Big Sands. They were um, oh, yeah. one of the one of the Canberra and the boys, Canberra fellas. Yep, good stuff. Have it, having you on that one of the early episodes there. I think you were like asleep on the couch, and they just did a podcast around you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, we were at a we were at a friend's. I think it was I think it was an engagement party yeah. for one of the okay. boys or something. Okay. 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 And we've been we've been out of the pub. Uh, all afternoon, oh, drink, sinking a few beers, yeah, and we all, we all went back to to, uh, to Toddy's place. <laughs> and uh, I think by the time I got there, I was just I was just so trashed. Yeah. Um, so I basically just fell asleep on the couch, and then I remember just waking up. And I was in a podcast with three other blokes. Yeah, yeah. And um, I already been mic'd up. And I had headphones on, and I was like, "Fuck, all right, oh, so, okay, whatever." But uh, are you serious? Yeah, I don't know if anyone's seen that episode, but uh, I think uh, to be honest, I was a little bit embarrassed about that because I was fairly wasted. Fairly and I, wasted. Yeah, and I did not know what the fuck was going on, but um, yeah, that was pretty funny. Good stuff, man. Oh, speaking of the live podcast, recording yeah. this out the back, at the basement. That's, that's why there's heaps of background yeah, noise man. and shit. Yeah, but yeah. it's good. That's that's the atmosphere we need. Um, now, we were going to do this on Saturday with um, with JDK live in the studio. Mm, yeah. We decided to do this as an add-in, which is a cool bonus on the episode, because you were at a um, you were at a, an event, like doing DJing and shit yeah, like yeah. that, man. But the story I wanted to get was also from another, like, bush doof, man. Something that I heard, like a, like a pub story I heard from years ago. Let's, let's, let's inject it here into the episode. I, <laughs> just, I, think, is, I think I know the one you're talking about. It's like, uh... I've always tried to retell this story <laughs> and just been like, no, nah, fuck it. I'm going to get the dude to tell it because I can't fucking do it justice. So I, I think, I think, um, this is definitely probably the funniest thing that I've that I've ever seen in my life and it's definitely like in the top two things yeah um, I still laugh thinking about today but yeah I was at this uh, um, I was playing at this music festival called Dragon Dreaming um, a few <laughs> years back and it's on this it's like a three-day festival you camp at um, and so this really really beautiful location uh, at Wee Jasper yeah. um, on the shores of Lake Barangjuk and um, <laughs> we, I remember one morning, I think it was like day two. So we kind of woken up, we're a bit, we're a bit, uh, we're a bit 
sketchy, a bit dusty, yeah. waking up having having breakfast beers, that kind of thing. And where we'd camp, dragon dreaming shit, dragon dreaming <laughs> shit, yeah, just standard shenanigans, really. Um, but yeah, we we'd camped kind of like close to where the where the lake was, and but up against like a fence. So there was a whole bunch of uh, camping that sort of ran along this fence line. And um, yeah, we're si anyway, so we're sitting there one morning and we're kind of looking out over the lake and yeah. there's, there's typical like um, nude hippie chicks, you know, skinny dipping and, uh, and, and dreads too. And there's music playing down there. And they all have long hair though. You know, yeah, it's, 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 it's that vibe. Yeah, it's, yeah. That, it's, that, it's that classic hippie yeah, yeah. sort of vibe. Um, uh, but, but yeah, um, so everyone's having a good time and um, and I, I remember, remember, I, uh, I was sitting there and I was like, I kind of had to do like a double take, but I noticed um, there was a there was a, a man and a woman, uh, butt naked, having sex like right on the shores, like <laughs> like like all the, like the waves, the waves of the lake were like lapping yeah, on, yeah. on this guy's Some ass. Some picturesque, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it is picturesque, like it's yeah. such a beautiful location. And it was like, like a mermaid's wet yeah, dream. Dude, yeah, it was literally yeah. like on this little on this little bit that came out, and there was like this giant. Uh, gum tree that kind of gave him a bit of shade like it was picturesque and I was like man am I seeing things like so I'm like I'm, it's I'm, Aphrodite I'm, of the bush <laughs> yeah, yeah so I'm around the boys and it's and it's cut like it was pretty funny but also like given the circumstance of of a bush and, yeah. and uh I, it, I wasn't like super shocked or anything yeah. but it was like it was like oh yeah I mean there's naked people everywhere down yeah, here yeah. but um I, I didn't really expect to see two people having sex right yeah. there although i have seen it before yeah, yeah. i have seen it before so anyway I sort, of, I sort of told everyone at the campsite i was like oh check it out check it out check it out and um everyone starts laughing it was pretty funny and then out of nowhere on the other so so side of the cove so the lake kind of had like a bit of a cove to it so they're on one under this beautiful shade yeah. and then on the other out of nowhere this guy walks up and he and he almost had like I remember almost as if like the sun was shining <laughs> through the clouds, like Simba, like, dude, like, like, a, like with a, a fucking spotlight, because he was right out, like right out there, and then like on Pride Rock, dude. yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> right, exactly like that. And then he pulls out this saxophone and starts playing Careless Whisper. <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> what they fucking do? And the, and the dude, the dude's like going, he's really sick. He's going, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, man, there's like a thousand people at the festival just going. <laughs> the funny scene he's going yeah bro yeah and he just kept going and going this dude just kept playing some man. fucking guy man. bought a saxophone See, i know like, like he's obviously seen it too and he's like man i've got to make this moment the best I thing wonder that how, possibly could be i wonder yeah. how much that guy has waited for that moment <laughs> I know. like he bought I know. a sax I know. and I know. waited he's like yeah. man there's gonna be some naked fuckers yeah. surely there'll be some banging like man. i need to bring this shit yeah. up there was so there was so many reasons why it was funny but it yeah. just aligns dude like that's like the yeah. perfect fucking yeah. Yeah. the setup you couldn't have you couldn't have written it like it was just perfect yeah yeah that's so fucking funny man the audience to it like i know yeah i don't think that guy will ever have a better fuck story yeah. than that I, do. Yeah, I, I reckon i reckon there was probably at least three or four hundred people that were all just watching and laughing and cheering yeah, yeah. fuck yeah, yeah dude yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. now now yeah. he has a now he has an outdoor kink like he just can't <laughs> he can't fucking yeah. Do it. Yeah, he's yeah. waiting he's chasing he's, he's, yeah, yeah. he's chasing he's chasing that next saxophone <laughs> moment <laughs> That's a, yeah, that. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's he's into trumpeting now <laughs> you ever copped a rusty trumpet while someone's playing a saxophone oh. dude that's the story about how two people fucked in the water and everybody he got wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, nice. All right, I can't top that, dude. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah, that no will worries, close man. it out with that. Appreciate yeah. you for being on, man. And uh, catch you on the next one. Cheers. Don't buy me a drink. Just name names. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Big Tony. You'll get fucking thrown out of the strip club with your floppy disk yeah, all day. Make people feel shame for shit all day. <laughs> Don't blow Don't it into a hard drive. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're here to keep it simple. Count your money. That they're not proud of. Just give me ten bucks. Hey, right. Click. Did you hang up? No, I just said click.